something okay so by far we have covered what we have covered so far behavioral level of modeling how we are modeling with the help of the expression that we have for any device expression how we get the expression from the truth table from the logics right okay now coming to the data flow modeling see data flow level may what you will do here you will assign the values to uh, the variables directly it means the continuous assignments of the variable i think in the first class i have told you the difference between reg and next with the help of uh, uh, that example of uh, the tank that you have in your home right the tank and the pipe so i have given you the basic difference between those two things the tank stores water right so it's a reg type the water is contained there so storing water but the pipe is continuously flowing the water so that was so that was driving something okay pipe was driving so that was net type so here what happens we we continuously uh, change continuously assign some value to some variable okay continuously driven things are inside this data flow and here we will see that we are going to do things by two ways with the help of boolean expressions also and with the help of conditional operators also okay and uh, these are the topics that i have covered in data flow modeling okay chaliye ji aage badhte hain first thing see here uh basic cheez to aapko jo yaad rakhni hai that is assign keyword we will be continuously assigning some value to the variable that continuous assignment will be given by this assign keyword okay and yes here the important point is whatever is the lhs that has to be net type rhs could be rhs could be anything but your lhs has to be net type okay and assignment is continuously getting done right assignment here happens continuously continuously uh, there is a change so assignment is getting done right and it is used to model combinational circuits mostly but sometimes we also use it for sequential circuits okay fine now see here any number of assigned statements we can use a basic example half header so what do you know about half header half header mean what do you do in a half header you have sum and then you have carry right means two times assignment you want for sum and carry so okay multiple assign statements you can use you can also use um assign statements and always also yeah always work also in the same module you can do that as well everything is possible right now see assign statements are typically placed after initializing input and output ports and before procedural statements if you want to use some of the procedural statements like always or something you want to use so before that you can assign some value theek hai that is possible here theek hai ji assign statements are used to model behavioral descriptions we will see how we are monitoring the behavior of any device through assign statements we will see that chaliye ji dekhte hain so okay half header i guess this uh, we have discussed every time पहले तो बाई फायर तो आई गेस आप लोगों को एकदम यू नो यू गाइस आप रट लिया होगा ये आपने हाउ दिस हाफ एड इज वर्किंग फाइन चलिए जी नाउ सी नो डिफरेंस जस्ट दीज टू एक्सप्रेशन वॉट इज द डिफरेंस assign keyword we have used and then always at the rate has been removed if i talk about the comparison from behavioral kya kiya maine रेड नहीं डिक्लेयर किया जस्ट बिकॉज ये डेटा फ्लो मॉडलिंग है वी आर नॉट डिक्लेयरिंग अवर आउटपुट एज रेच टाइप नो दैट इज गोन हैपन ओनली एंड ओनली वेयर दैट इज गोन हैपन दैट इज गोन हैपन इन ऑलवेज ब्लॉक इन प्रोसीजरल स्टेटमेंट ओनली इन बिहेवियर मॉडलिंग ओनली हियर वी वॉन्ट इट टू बी नेट टाइप एंड वी आर सिंपली असाइनिंग द वैल्यूज ऑफ सम एंड कैरी थ्रू अवर बुल एक्सप्रेशन through our equations as simple as that nothing new everything is same right okay so i hope this is clear to everyone now coming to the next part yes see here using expressions 
if i'm talking about the full adder i guess full adder yes uh, okay I'm, yeah, yeah. i'm sorry see this this is a uh, important thing conditional operators i think i have discussed with everybody right when i was telling about the operators i have told you about conditional operators what were they conditional operators mean see we have some output what we check we check for certain conditional conditional expression we check for something that is, whether it is true or false if it is true then true statement will be executed if it is false then false statement will be executed mean executed means what condition we check if it is true then this value is assigned to y if it is false then this value is assigned to y this way conditional operators work now coming to the part man ye kya likh diya hai what is this you have written we are not able to understand you will be able to understand just give me a moment and then see the magic of conditional operators you know the truth table of half header right what is this chaliye likh lete hain ek bar now see here where we are getting sum as 1 we have to see this way theek hai inputs what are the inputs here a and b so dekhiye what i am doing i am seeing assign f is equal to what i have checked i said check for the condition of a when a is 1 a is 1 here okay so i am checking a question mark means i am checking for the condition of a if a is 1 execute this part if a is 0 execute this part if a is 1 execute this part if a is 0 execute this part now see here in spite that i am checking the condition of b if b is 1 this will execute if b is 1 this is execute this will execute if b is 0 this is going to execute similar way we are also if b is 1 execute this and if b is 0 execute this now see here what is happening here a is 1 theek hai a to 1 mil gaya hame now we checking for the conditions of b1 see a is 1 and b is 1 what is the output for sum c for sum only we are assigning for sum only see here this part only sum mein hame kya chahiye 1 and 1 one we are getting 0 so we are getting this 0 if a is 1 and b is 0 then If a is one and b is zero, we are getting one. We are getting one, right? Similarly, if a is zero, b is one. If a is zero, b is one. We are getting one. Okay, ji. If a is zero and b is also zero, we are getting zero. We are getting zero. ठीक है? इस तरीके से we are using these conditional operators. Now, c for carry also. C for carry. सिमिलर चीज फॉर कैरी आपको देखना है सी हियर सी हियर सी अगेन कंडीशन चेक फॉर ए इफ ए इज वन इफ ए इज वन चेक फॉर बी इफ बी इज वन 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 पे वी हैव आउटपुट वन वी हैव आउटपुट वन फाइन इफ ए इज वन एंड बी इज जीरो इफ ए इज वन एंड बी इज जीरो आउटपुट इज जीरो ओके जी आउटपुट इज जीरो सिमिलरली दिस कंडीशन आर फॉर ए इज वन टू जीरो सो इफ ए इज जीरो एंड बी इज वन If a is zero and b is one, output is zero. Okay, ji. If a is zero, b is zero, output is zero. Output is zero. I hope this conditional operator, how it is working, I hope it is clear to everybody by far. Okay. Okay. Now, coming to the next part. If I talk about the full adder, see, full adder we also we have right. What we have for sum. A XOR B XOR C, ठीक है? And for carry what we have? See out बोल लेते हैं इसको. So for carry we have AB. Okay, if I'm taking everything as false, I'll write this way. AB plus BC plus AC, right? So this is what happening here. देखिए जी, assign sum is equal to अच्छा. What we have done here? I have declared everything in the single line here. ठीक है? इनपुट ए बी सी इन है आउटपुट आर सम एंड सी आउट डायरेक्टली इन वन लाइन हैव डिक्लेयर्ड नाउ असाइन सम एंड असाइन सी आउट सिंगल एक्सप्रेशन दैट वी हैव यूज्ड राइट आई होप नाउ यू आर एबल टू अंडरस्टैंड द डिफरेंस बिटवीन द बिहेवियरल लेवल ऑफ मॉडलिंग एंड दैट डेटा फ्लो मॉडलिंग राइट 
चलिए जी नाउ अगेन द कंडीशन ऑपरेटर्स मेक्स अ बिग रोल यार यार यू हैव टू बी क्लियर विद द ट्रुथ टेबल ठीक है चलो बने हम ट्रुथ टेबल बना लेते हैं कहीं पे और यहां बना लेते हैं ठीक है जी अब देखिए कैसे लिखेंगे हाउ विल सी दैट असाइन सम नाउ अगेन चेकिंग फॉर द कंडीशन आई एम चेकिंग इफ ए इज इक्वल टू 1 एग्जीक्यूट दिस ब्लॉक इफ ए इज इक्वल टू 0 एग्जीक्यूट दिस ब्लॉक ठीक है दिस ब्लॉक विल एग्जीक्यूट फॉर ए इज इक्वल टू 1 दिस ब्लॉक विल एग्जीक्यूट फॉर ए इज इक्वल टू 0 ठीक है नाउ ए इज इक्वल टू 1 में भी वी हैव टू कंडीशंस वी हैव Two conditions. See here. See here. What I'm checking? If b is equal to one, then go for this. If b is equal to zero, then go for. This. Similarly here, if b is equal to one, then go for this. If b is equal to zero, then go for this. After that also, if you see here, what I'm doing? I'm checking here also. If c is equal to वन तो फिर ये एग्जीक्यूट कर दो और ये करो इफ सी इज इक्वल टू जीरो ठीक है इफ सी इज इक्वल टू वन इफ सी इज इक्वल टू वन इसे एग्जीक्यूट कर दो इफ सी इज इक्वल टू जीरो देन एग्जीक्यूट दिस सिमिलरली फॉर दीज टू ऑल्सो यू कैन आई गेस रिलेट नाउ नाउ सी वॉट इज हैपनिंग वॉट इज हैपनिंग हेयर देखिए इफ ए इज इक्वल टू वन चलिए वी विल सी द फर्स्ट दिस पार्ट ओनली ठीक है If a is equal to one, selected. I guess one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Okay, I'm sorry. Ah, uh, wait. Yes. Oh ho. चलिए जी देख लेते हैं थोड़ा सा. Fine. B is if B is B one वाला तो part we have already checked now see B is zero means A is one but B is zero now check for this part if B is zero check for C if C is one the output is zero C is zero the output is one so this way you can relate I guess this table I have not made very clearly so I hope uh, things are getting a bit confused let me make it. Uh, let me make a clear table again. Then only you will be able to understand. Okay? Let me make a table again, just for your convenience. Now you will be able to understand in a clear way. See, if you do a is one, as you do a is one, these all things are selected. These all, जो नीचे वाला section है, is selected. A is equal to one. Now you are testing for. चलिए uh, we if we see for uh, this b part. Okay. So b part, what you are doing for b part? Okay, b is zero and then b is one. So firstly we are doing for b is one. Okay, b is one. यानि this part is selected. Now we are checking for c. If c is one, yes, c is one here. 
so output is 1. So C is 1, then output is 1. If C is 0, then output is 0. If C is 0, then output is 0. So this part we have checked, right? Now coming to this part, when P is false, I mean B is 0. For B is 0 means these two things will be taken into consideration. If B is 0, then we are checking for C. If C is 1, C is 1, your output is 0. If C is 1, if C is 0, then your output is 1. Okay, so I guess uh, you all must be uh, seeing here that I have given this sum in this form of conditional operators and then carry in the form of expression, you can give it this way. Any way you want, you can give. I have used the combination of these two as well. Yes, you can do that indeed. You, your task is, your task here is, you will have to tell me the C out. Okay, so this C out you have to tell me in terms of conditional operators okay this expression you have to write in terms of conditional operators and then you have to tell me that whether you are able to write or not okay conditional operator statement how you are how you are doing that i hope this is clear to you if it is not clear to you comment that you are not able to understand the conditional operator okay i'll tell you basic agenda kya hai? basic agenda aapko dhyan rakna hai. what is the basic agenda you will test you have three inputs so you will test for a ठीक है कुछ होगा कुछ नहीं होगा ठीक है ये है जो होगा ये है जो नहीं होगा ठीक है then here you will check for B में ठीक है B में भी कुछ है जो होगा कुछ है जो नहीं होगा इतना बड़ा लिख रही हूँ इसलिए I think हो नहीं पाएगा wait चलिए जी मैं थोड़ा छोटा छोटा लिख के आपको बताती हूँ A में कुछ part है जो होगा and some part will not happen Similarly, you will test for B. There would be some part with, which will happen and there would be some part which will not happen. Similarly, here, for, here also, A ka to section we check kar liya. Again, B hum check karenge, to kuch part hoga, kuch nahi hoga. Thik hai? Ab, yaha par bhi aage, ab hum means ke andar check kiya, C mein bhi, kuch part hai jo hoga, kuch hai jo nahi hoga. So, you are getting output after C. So, that is going to happen here. What is the value is? You will write here. You will write some value here. As similarly, you will check, uh, see here also some values will be, will come here. Similarly, here also you will get the value of C. Kuch to milega aapko. You will get some value for C. Okay? Means you are testing the conditions. How come uh, the conditions are getting tested? A. A, agar hai possible, to ye ho jayega. If A ki value is 0, to ye ho ga. Agar A ka value 0 hai. If A's value is 1, so this is going to happen. Okay? Then what, what you are doing? If B's value is 1, so this will happen. If B's value is 0, so this will happen. If C's value is 1, then ye wala part is okay. If C's value is 0, then ye wala part is okay. I hope you will be able to write the condition for your C out. Do that and do comment that whether you are able to understand or not. Fine. This is the diagram for Half subtractor, okay? I think everybody is familiar with half subtractor as well, right? We have expression as ax or b, and then this is the expression for difference, and then for borrow we have a complement b. Now come to the real of code. See here also we have expression ax or b, right? We have ax or b, and just because a complement b, I think this we have already explained before that we'll complement it and then we will hand it with b, right? Okay, sorry, her end will not be used because we are not using always the statements, right? We are not using uh, procedural box. Fine. Now, this is the full subtractor. Full subtractor, maybe we also have this expression, right? X or B, X or B in. Okay? We have this uh, borrow expression, right? Borrow expression, A complement B plus A B complement, A complement B, A complement B in plus B B in, right? This expression for sub full subtractor we have. So, I guess this code likna aapke liye will be a cakewalk for you all, right? See here. I have done the same thing this way with the help of expressions. I hope now you are able to relate it how easy it is. Just a simple assign keyword just by writing the statements in terms of your operators. You can make your circuit work this way. Either a half header, full header, half subtractor, full subtractor. Any way you can make, right? Now see. The two cross one multiplexer, okay. Uh, see the code. Yeah. Now we are also, I have done it two ways, right? We have two ways, see, by using the expression, we have 
क्या है हमारे पास एक्सप्रेशन एस बार ए जीरो एंड एस ए वन सी जस्ट दैट आई डेड ए जीरो और एस एंड ए वन राइट इफ आई टॉक अबाउट द कंडीशनल ऑपरेटर्स कंडीशनल ऑपरेटर्स मीन वेन एवर यू वॉन्ट टू वर्क ऑन कंडीशनल ऑपरेटर जस्ट गो टू द ट्रूथ टेबल ओनली एंड ट्रस्ट द ट्रूथ टेबल ठीक है वट एवर इट इज सो इफ इट इज जीरो जीरो सो नॉट जीरो जीरो बिकॉज इट इज this for one purpose only s if it is 0 if it is 1 so we are getting the output y as a0 or a1 right so what i am doing here i am checking the condition of s if s is 1 if s is 1 this a1 is selected if s is 0 then this a0 will be assigned to y i hope this is very basic so you are you, if you have understood that full adder so you will be able to understand it very easily one more thing what you have to do guys This full subtractor as well as full and half subtractor. So, with the help of conditional operators, this is your task for the day. ठीक है जी क्वेश्चन है ये आपका that with the help of conditional operators, ठीक है conditional operators की हेल्प से you have to make a half subtractor and full subtractor. Half subtractor would be very easy for you and full subtractor also. Half subtractor कैसे बनाएंगे? आई uh, गेस ये तो मुझे बताने की भी जरूरत नहीं है कैसे बनाएंगे यू हैव हाफ सब्सट्रैक्टर में देखिए आपको पता है ना क्या क्या होता है डिफरेंस एंड बॉर ठीक है चेक आउट वेयर यू आर गेटिंग द आउटपुट एस ठीक है कॉम्बिनेशन के लिए वॉट वोट यू हैव आउटपुट एंड इनपुट एंड देन चेक फॉर द कंडीशन एंड देन मेक इट फॉर हाफ सब्सट्रैक्टर एंड फुल सब्सट्रैक्टर ठीक है दिस यू हैव टू कॉमेंट मी दैट वेदर यू आर एबल टू मेक इट और वॉट ठीक है and if you are able to write the entire equation also so that would be a very uh, good way of communicating that also we will try also be able to understand that okay you are getting things on a you are on a proper track or not fine chaliye ji now yes of course you can also make this four cross one multiplexer right you can make it with the conditional operators also and you can make you can directly use this equation this equation you can directly use in order to make your four cross one let's see here Use this 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 equation directly, and then I'll assign in y. What I what I'm seeing here, not of s one, not of s zero, and of a zero means when these are zero zero, selection of a zero will happen. When this is zero one, a one will be selected. When it is one zero, this a two is selected. When it is one, yeah, when it is one one, then this a three is selected, right? So I hope now you are able to understand how we are assigning the values. Okay. Okay, fine. If I talk about the conditional operators also, so that also you can do. I guess for this also you can write the code in conditional operators with the help of conditional operators. Okay, fine. I have not written that, but you can do that as well. How will you do that? How will you do here? You have to check for two conditions. How will you check? See, you will see. First of all, uh, suppose I am seeing for S one. So I do assign assign. Y is equal to. I'll check for the condition of S one. Fine. Something is gonna happen and something. Okay. S one the condition I've checked. Now I'll check for S zero. Fine. S zero the condition I've checked. So what I'm doing here? If S one is one, okay, G. If S zero is one, okay, G. So A three will be selected. Means when both these values are one, A three is selected. If S one is one, but S zero is Zero. S one is one, but S zero is zero. Then A two selected. Okay, G. Now, if S one is zero, ठीक है G. If S one is zero, but S zero is one. Okay, G. Then A one has to be selected. A one has to be selected. Otherwise, A zero has to be selected. ठीक है? So this way you can write in form of conditional operators as well. Fine. I hope it is clear to everyone. Now see here, this is a two cross four decoder. Decoders के लिए भी we know the expression. Uh, it will work only when you have enable inputs, right? Whenever the enable is zero, it will not work. It will be in discrete state. ठीक है? Fine. So देखिए decoders के लिए we have four outputs. How we will do that? We are directly using these expressions, right? Those are four equations, and then we have we are directly using z zero, z one, z two. We are directly assigning the values in these things. Right, whenever a and b are zero and enable is there, so assign the value in z zero. 
ठीक है एंड ऑपरेशन इजिली यू कैन डू दैट फॉर डी कोडर्स राइट वी हैव इनपुट ए बी एंड एनेबल ऑल्सो एंड जेड इज अवर आउटपुट ठीक है आई होप नाउ यू आर एबल टू रिलेट दीज थिंग्स नाउ कमिंग टू दिस पार चैलेंज योर सेल्फ राइट सी यू आर स्टार्टिंग थिंग्स दैट इज ओके बट हाउ विल यू कॉन्ट टू नो दैट वट एवर यू आर स्टार्टिंग आई यू एबल टू अंडरस्टैंड नो नॉट Are you able to relate the things or not? So whatever we have discussed in today's lecture, we'll be challenging it. We'll be, you know, we'll be seeing that how much we understood. So that is why this question here around I take every time whenever I teach you something or what, so that you also can analyze yourself, right? See, yesterday if you are here, you have to go here today. Okay, चलिए जी. We start with the the first question. Can we have multiple always block in a single module? I guess ये तो मैंने इतना चिल्ला चिल्ला के बताया है. Yes, of course we have. Of course it is possible to have multiple always block inside a single module. ठीक है जी? Can we have multiple initial blocks in a single module? Hello, इसका तो example ही बताया मैंने आपको. Along with the delays, of course. It's a yes. Next question. All initial blocks execute concurrently at t is equal to zero. Just look at those examples. That example, I guess, you can relate now. Initial, right? Inside one initial, we have written those delays, and uh, in the other example, what I have taken the different different initial blocks, and I have told you that what is happening, how the delays are happening, how the value of variable was getting changed, right? So yes, of course, we have. Can we have multiple initial? Okay, sorry. Yeah. Can uh, all the initial blocks execute concurrently at t is equal to zero? Yes. Always block execute only once. अरे नहीं भैया. Always block executes continuously as a loop. It executes, right? चलिए जी. We can store the result of procedural statements in nets. Procedural statements always the statements inside red we use. So no. A fine keyword. Is used for continuous assignment in data flow modeling. आप ही अभी देखा है, of course, yes. Types of net data type. Is it types of net data type? No, register. Registered data types. Ah, uh, it has four names. Yeah, registers. May we have four data types? What are they? Reg, time, right? Real. ठीक है जी. Ah, so yes, the answer would be no. Types of Net data type no time is of registered data type. Okay. Now see here initial blocks are used for writing test functions. Yes, indeed it is. Yes. Okay. ये तो मैंने आपको बताया था test functions का एक छोटा सा introduction भी दिया था मैंने. You right? Fine. चलिए next. It is possible to declare and initialize the variable at the same time. Yes, we have taken example of clock. We have we have declared the reg clock and then we have given the value as zero in addition, right? As I कुछ हमने किया था ना that we have declared that uh, reg reg and then we have declared this clock as zero. As an example, we have done that. Okay, so we are initializing also and we are declaring the uh, declaring also and then we are initializing with zero also. Okay, so of course it is possible. All these works are sensitive to changes in inputs. Yes. Whenever the value of a and b inside the sensitivity list, which you write inside those parentheses, changes, so your always block executes. Okay. The list besides always block, which monitors change in input, is called as data list. No, just now I have told you it is called as sensitivity list. The elements of a procedural statements can be a part select of the variable. Bilkul it is possible. If you want a thirteen, if you want a twelve, you want something to store. So, uh, always block in the procedural blocks. You can do that. Of course, it is possible. The statements inside always block executes sequentially. This you have to answer. Will it? Is it possible? Yes. Of course. Whatever you write inside those always block, it executes one by one sequentially in a sequence. It is possible to finish the simulation of always block at any time. Yes, with the system function dollar finish. You can do that. With the help of a stop, you can stop the simulation. Fine. Always an initial blocks cannot be used in a single module. ऐसा कुछ भी नहीं है. They can be used and inside this uh, in that clock generator example, we have seen that as well. That yes, we were initializing something in the clock as zero, and then we were you know always at the rate we have taken that clock is equal to negative clock, and then every time we were producing those clock pulses, right? 
So we have used that initial and okay, cannot be here. Fine, 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 fine. ऐसा नहीं है कि हम नहीं यूज कर सकते ऑफ कोर्स वी कैन यूज सो दैट इज ऑल फॉर टूडेज लेक्चर तो देखिए वी हैव थ्री पार्ट ऑफ मॉडलिंग ठीक है स्ट्रक्चरल डेटा फ्लो एंड बिहेवियल मॉडलिंग ठीक है सो वी हैव सीन द इंटायर कॉन्सेप्ट दैट वॉट आर द बेसिक अंडरस्टैंडिंग फॉर दीज थ्री ठीक है जी अभी आपको क्या समझना है आर यू एबल टू अंडरस्टैंड द बेसिक कॉन्सेप्ट एंड इफ यू आर एबल टू अंडरस्टैंड द बेसिक कॉन्सेप्ट फॉर कॉम्बिनेशन सर्किट्स After this topic, I will be dealing with test benches. I'll tell you that how we will supply. See, whatever we have written, whatever we are writing inside this module, this is called as unit under test. And for testing this unit, we have test benches. So we will tell you in the upcoming lectures, next lectures, I'll tell you about test bench. And once the test bench part is completed, I uh, gonna teach you. You know, I'll be teaching you the examples. See, already we have done so many examples. Now, then I'll tell you. That okay, if this is the UT, U U T, how we'll be writing the test bench, how we will relate that. Okay, so that part we'll be doing. After that, we'll jump to sequential circuits. Okay, after that we will be dealing with the concepts of sequential circuits. Okay, so um, if you want to see the sequential circuits, firstly, and after that you want me to uh, show you the tool, how it is uh, happening, how the things are happening. If you want me to do that, me. that is also possible but if you want that no ma'am after test bench just uh, show us uh, the examples on uh, tools how they are implementing how the values uh, we are getting so if you want that also so you can do that also first of all i'll tell you the entire uh, uh, working in the software okay uh, the combination we'll discuss and then we'll uh, do in software part and after that uh, we'll move on to sequential so whatever you want you can just comment uh, your ideas your views okay so that is all for today what we have discussed we have discussed the entire part of behavior level of modeling and data flow modeling and we understood what procedural statements are and we have seen that yes initial blocks multiple initial blocks and multiple always blocks also we can use so they'll be very helpful afterwards so i'll take some of the examples for these also so this was all about today so thank you everyone for your time